Hey, Grow Group, we are still plowing through the book of John and the story of Jesus. Uh, here is a snippet from this week's message. Have you ever had one of those days when like trouble seemed to come at you from every angle? When I was 17, my friend Mike, he asked me to help him haul some firewood. It was easy money, he said. We'd buy it for 80 a cord, sell it for 280 a cord. So we rented a U-Haul, we drove up into the mountains, and we started stacking seven cords of wood in this moving van. I'd pick up the wood, I'd toss it to Mike in the van, and we stacked that U-Haul to the brim. But as we loaded that last cord of wood, the distance I had to throw the wood changed, you know, because most of the wood was already in the truck. So I tossed this one huge log in, and before I knew it, it bounced back. And it smacked me right in the face. Knocked out my front tooth. Mike wanted to take me to the ER, but I mean, there was nothing that could be done. So well, we finished stacking that seventh cord of wood. Now, what we didn't know that maybe you know is that a cord of wood weighs two tons. Seven cords of wood weigh 14 tons. We learned later our U-Haul was rated to haul two tons. Yeah, we had 14 tons of wood loaded in a two-ton truck. But that was no problem because, you know, we weren't going up the mountain anymore. We were going down. So Mike says to me as we head down the mountain, he says, hey, we're making good time. Let's stop at, you know, my favorite steakhouse. I look over at Mike. I smile with my missing tooth. And I'm like, yeah, Mike, I think my steak's going to need a blender. And he took it as a yes. And with that, we took the off ramp. Now, it was the first time in our trip down that he used the brakes. And guess what? The brakes on a two-ton moving van are not designed to stop 14 tons of firewood. And immediately, we both understood the problem. I could see his plan was to cross the intersection at the bottom of the off-ramp and take the on-ramp back onto the highway. But there was a VW bug stopped at the intersection. You know, just somebody there deciding which way to turn. And we're going to squash that bug. We have 14 tons of firewood coming at him. So Mike makes a decision. He turns the wheel left to steer around the bug. And when that happened, our load shifted. Friends, when 14 tons of wood shifts, you shift. Mike's side of the truck, it went up in the air. The front wheels on my side bore the weight for a second or two, and then the front axle broke, and the truck began to roll, first off the road and then down the hill. I mean, firewood went everywhere. The 14 tons of firewood stacked behind us burst through the aluminum shell of the truck, through the back glass of the cab, and right through the front windshield. And when our death roll stopped, we, we were like kindling for the world's largest bonfire. Inside the cab of the truck, Mike and I were hanging upside down by our seatbelts, and so much wood was between us, neither of us could see each other. But we both shimmied out through our broken windows on the doors, and we found ourselves outside the truck. When the firemen arrived, the truck was upside down, the shell of the moving van was no longer attached to the bed of the truck, and a fire had broken out in the engine bay. You know, since we're standing next to it all, the firemen yelled at us, hey, how many people in that cab? <laughs> two, we said. And then we realized he thinks those two people are still in the cab. And we're like, it's us. We're the two. We got out. And he runs over to us like, we've lost our minds because there's not a scratch on us. I mean, he can't believe it. You, you can see the incredulity on his face. So I smile, <laughs> and now he's a believer. <laughs> Friends, that was a day of triple trouble. We lost over $500 in firewood. We, we, we lost a tooth, <laughs> nearly our lives. But you know, none of you are surprised, because everyone here has days like that. Days when trouble never seems to stop. Amen? <laughs> I mean, trouble, you're either in it, just out of it or causing it. Like, you know who you are. <laughs> Trouble's everywhere. In fact, in today's episode of the story of Jesus, Jesus makes us a promise about trouble. It's John 16, 33. He says, in this world, you will have trouble. <laughs> he didn't say you might have trouble. I mean, that's a possibility. He said, no, it's a reality. You and I will have trouble. Wow, what a story. Yes, yes, yes. But as Ray said, we all have days like that one. Now, in just a few minutes, your group leader will have some questions for you, but let's start with our stories, okay? Have you had a bad day like Ray's where trouble seemed to come at you from every angle? Let's start by sharing some bad days. Share your story with your group.